Hello, welcome to my channel, Ella here. Today we're going to talk about pros and cons of working for a makeup brand. I have worked in uh, makeup retail for so many years, so that makes me a little bit of an expert on this topic. So I'm going to go through all the advantages and disadvantages of working for a brand. If you are a new artist and you've just graduated a beauty school or some makeup course and stuff like that, so that's all great, uh, but you need to practice, right? So to practice, you need a lot of different uh, types of people to work on. You need different skin tones, you need different uh, skin textures, you need different age um, groups and so on. So in retail, it is the perfect opportunity to meet all of these groups and practice your skills on uh, different skin tones, textures, and ages. Um, also, you're going to um, practice your people skills. You're going to learn how to communicate. You're going to learn how to um, make a sale and you know, get people to trust you, gain, gain their trust and be an expert in what you do. So that is the first very, very uh, big advantage of working for a makeup brand. You're going to learn everything you need to know about makeup and you're going to get so much hands-on practice that you will never get at any school. And also, uh, you're going to learn from other artists around you because you will be surrounded by people um, who will have knowledge, tricks, tips, and as I said, not only technic technique wise, also people skills. Uh, the second uh, advantage you definitely get, and it's probably one of my favorite ones is that you get gratis. Uh, you get gratis and you get uh, an amazing discount with the brand. Uh, pretty much any brand you going to work for will give you gratis. What is gratis? It's free stuff, right? So because you require to wear products from the brand when you're working for one, uh, they have to provide you their stuff. So in order for you to wear the latest collection, they will give you pieces from that collection. You also, uh, a lot of brands give you an allowance, for example, for every six months spent with the brand, uh, you will get an allowance of so, so many um, hundreds of dollars. It sounds a lot, but it's really not when you're working for a luxury uh, brand. So it, it will only end up being like five or six pieces of stuff. Um, so, and then also you get a discount. So you can purchase stuff at a discounted price, whatever you wish. So that's how I, I accumulated my first makeup kit. All my brushes, my eyeshadows, uh, lots of lipsticks and even foundations. So that's a great way to build your kit and not spend anything pretty much. You can, you know, you can collect everything from just gratis. Other um, advantage is that you will constantly be trained. So whenever a new train trend comes out or a new product comes out, of course you'll be the first one to try. You'll be the first one to know what's coming up in the next season. You're going to be ahead of the trend. So that will put you also on top um, of everyone else who isn't in the retail uh, world. So you also will get trained on new products and of course your technique your makeup technique and application will improve improve every time you get trained so you will also learn how a lot of these products are made what ingredients are in these products and how they work now the next uh pro for me is meeting people so if you're planning to do a freelance uh career in the future once you get a lot of practice once you gain your skills um, working in retail for a makeup brand is a really good way to meet your, your first clients so for example when I used to work for a brand um, my first freelance jobs were proms and weddings and stuff like that and where would I meet them of course at work so they would be you know 
interested in the product and we would talk and you would tell them okay listen I do makeup outside of here and of course they would want to book you because you already build a little relationship and yeah so and I would have return returning customers and then these customers would refer you to their friends and friends of the friends and friends of the family and so on so you will build your first network through there it's a really good way to meet uh, your clients the other thing also is um, makeup retailers or makeup brands pay pretty good wages compared to anything else in retail if you're working for a clothing brand or any other retailer um, you will get slightly lower wage compared to makeup brands uh, the reason for that I'm not sure why but I just know that that's how it always been now we're down to the bad stuff uh, so the number one disadvantage for me I know it's gonna sound so weird but if you're working for a brand most brands will make you wear a uniform now why is this such a big deal for me um, for me um, uniform you know what what they're gonna make you wear it's never anything pleasing or flattering it's always um you know ill-fitted uh, it's really bad material it's mostly polyester it never fits you right it's always like hot and it never looks good so for me um uniform is something that takes away your individuality I think as an artist as a you know beauty consultant as a you know person who works with color with makeup you need to be an uh, an individual you need to be able to express yourself through makeup as well as through your outfit where is uniform to me it's such an old school of making you know people looking the same like why why do you want to make me look like a like i work at a gas station you know with a logo it's just horrible for me it was like it would kill my mood because i would have to put on that polyester jacket every single day and they would be very strict about that a lot of brands will just have a dress code which mostly is black so i've accum accumulated an enormous amount of black clothing in my retail life um, so that's way better than uniform so if you can avoid working for a brand that has plastic uniform polyester uniform do so because you will you will understand what I mean when you have to put on the same thing every single day and you know shapeless ill-fitted hot sweaty <laughs> not good looking thing like it's it really affects you it really affects you when you have to wear the same thing and you also being made to look like everyone else so to me that's a no that's a killer next one for me is wearing a ton of makeup every day now you're gonna say like what what, what are you talking about you're a makeup artist like what is wrong with you you are supposed to love wearing makeup yes I do but they will ask you to wear um, a certain amount of products on your face so you will have to wear a foundation a blush a lipstick a lip liner a mascara an eyeliner um, a certain amount of eyeshadows eyebrow so on some brands will even require to wear perfume that only belongs to the brand you're not allowed to wear uh, any other perfume uh, sometimes if the brand has nail color they would ask you to put nail polish from the brand so that's a lot right so that's a lot of control about on how you look every day that's all good like i love wearing makeup but n not so much of it and every single day so pretty much full face of makeup you want to make sure you got some good scrubs you got some you know good makeup removers and you do facials at least once once a month because you will wear so much makeup your face will feel tired your eyes will feel tired i mean at least mine did uh anyways to me that's a con the thing about uh working in retail now that's any retail uh, makeup or now no makeup uh is standing on your feet all day so when you first when you first start oh. out you will feel 
your feet like no scratch that you will not feel your feet after a few days of working because no one's body is designed to stand for you know 10 hours a day you're not allowed to sit you're not allowed to you know lean you're not allowed to do any of this stuff so um that's really strict as well you're only allowed to sit during your lunch break or you know um little breaks that you take um, besides the lunch but you can't sit so you have to think about your shoes that is so important you want to look great but you want to be comfortable because your feet will kill you they will be killing you the first few weeks while you're getting used to that kind of job the next thing i do not like about retail in general again that's not nothing to do with makeup or no uh or clothing brand any retail you have to clock in and out what's the big deal about that i'm gonna explain to you if you've ever worked in an office environment or any other environment besides retail you can come in you know a couple of minutes late go get a coffee sit down brush your hair you know get yourself in the mood um drink your coffee you can't do that in retail you have to come in you know full face of makeup ready to go you can't bring coffee you can't bring food you're not allowed to have anything on the floor except for some water uh you know you can't you cannot basically roll in and then wind yourself up to it no you have to be ready 100 percent. boom 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 let's go so that's like you have to be completely winded up before you even enter the sales floor so compared to some other jobs where you come in all relaxed and start your day off slowly because i'm not a morning person that's a very important thing for me as well so clocking in and out you feel like a factory uh worker a little bit and the last thing uh, that is a disadvantage for me is the sales pressure the competition if you're working for commission uh people will be fighting for sales People will be very catty and backstabby and this and that-y. Um, so that environment could be very poisonous if you're surrounded by people who, you know, really cut throat and care only about the money. Um, it's not like that everywhere. And I have worked in different stores and every one of them was different. Some stores, people, you know, employees were respectful and took turns if it was slow you know you pass on the sales or you haven't had any sale today here you go you go help them but it's not like that uh in some other stores you know people don't care they just take the sales right from your nose and that's very unpleasant and it could be very poisonous environment if you're constantly in this fighting mode you know you have to be always prepared to attack that's not the way to spend your day so if you have tough skin uh, which I grew to have <laughs> working in retail then yeah there shouldn't be a problem for you but you know you have to be respectful of everyone else uh, working uh, with you on the sales floor everybody has to make sales everybody has to make a living everybody's got a uh, rent to pay so you have to be mindful of that you don't want to be oh I'm a superstar I have all the sales you know karma will come back and bite you in, <laughs> in one place so just you know be friendly be open um, but also be respectful and mindful that you're working with people who are trying to make a living just like you. And, you know, hopefully they will think the same. And if they don't, you know, try to avoid any uh, sort of conflicts. I mean, sometimes it's really difficult. And as I said, that kind of environment sometimes will, will put you down. And uh, I haven't worked in the commission-based environment for the past I think oh six years um, so it didn't matter how many sales you would make you still make the same money but you still had a sales goal um, so if you can avoid the commission-based um, 
salary, I would. You just peace of mind is more, uh, you know, precious than a few dollars that you will make in commission. Unless you're lucky and you work with a very good, good team. Overall, I definitely recommend working for a brand, um, especially if you're a new artist and you're fresh off the out of beauty school. I think it's a really good way to meet people, learn lots of stuff, get free makeup, uh, you know, and learn tons. And the disadvantages that I talked about today, they're all, um, you can deal with it, you know, and as you work more and get more experience, you grow tougher skin, like just like any job, it will have its disadvantages. But I did learn everything I know today from working in retail and I'm really happy and very grateful to some of the brands I worked for and especially people I met all along the way. So I made so many friends, um, so it's amazing. So good luck to you and thank you for watching, bye.